This is an introductory unit on exponents. When you first learned multiplication, you probably represented multiplication using repeated addition in groups. Basic exponent operations can be represented by repeated multiplication. So you're going to write that down right here. So, over here on the right, we have an example. We've got our big B, and we have it raised to a little n. This n is the exponent. And this B is called the base. This means that the B, right up here, multiplied by itself n times. And we're going to go through some examples. When we say an exponent out loud, we call a number with a power of 2 squared and a power of 3 cubed. So this first example, 4 to the third power, is 4 cubed. And down here, this 3 to the second power is 3 squared. So, going back to the repeated multiplication, 4 to the third power, 4 cubed, is simply 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. This 3 tells you to multiply the base, which is the 4, by itself 3 times. And in the next one here, we have 1 to the fifth power, so this 1 is the base, the 5 is the exponent. This 5 tells you to multiply the base 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by itself 5 times. And 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So go ahead and take a look at 3 squared. 3 squared. What is the base? The base is 3, and we are going to multiply it by itself twice because of the 2. And 3 times 3 is 9. So let's take a look at the try it down below. 2 to the 5th power, the base is 2. And we are going to multiply it by itself five times. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. 16 times two is 32. 12 to the first power. 12 is the base. But we're only going to write it once. So 12 to the first power is 12. 5 to the third power. 1, 2, 3. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. Now let's take a look at 10 to the fifth power. So we have 10 written out five times, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do you notice here it's a 1 with five zeros? It's because that's our base 10 system. It's a 1 with five zeros.
So then what would a 10 to the third power be? It would be a 1 with three zeros. And then 10 to the 13th would be a 1 with 13 zeros. And that's a lot of zeros in there. Let's take a look at our three bubbles on the side. Any number to the blank power is 1. Any number to the 0 power is 1. So go ahead and fill that in. 0. Any number to the first power is itself. It's like 12 to the, to the 1. And powers of 10 will only contain 1s and zeros, as you saw with example 3 on the left and examples 2 and 3 on the right. Now down below we have a beware section. And I am going to go over this part here tomorrow. So I hope you liked this little doodle notes from my friend at MathDraft. Have a good night.